therapies focus on promoting awareness of the thoughts, beliefs, and feelings causing negative behaviors. The first type of insight therapy, which was created by Freud, is psychoanalysis, which emphasizes the importance of uncovering unconscious motivations, desires, and defense mechanisms. It uses free association and dream analysis to bring these unconscious elements into conscious awareness. Free association is used to uncover unconscious content by having the client say whatever comes to mind without any kind of self-censoring. Dream analysis is used to uncover unconscious content by interpreting symbols within dreams. By providing insight into the origins of problems, these techniques are meant to alleviate the associated conflict or anxiety. Over the course of therapy, patients sometimes develop resistance, the unconscious tendency to slow down the progress of therapy to avoid facing painful conflicts, or transference, where the client unconsciously begins interacting with the analyst as if they were a figure from the client's past or present. Current evidence shows limited success in treating mental disorders with psychoanalysis, and so clinicians often suggest other kinds of talk therapy or psychotherapy in order to alleviate mental distress. Structured or unstructured, guided or unguided, talk therapy offers clients a chance to talk about their problems and implement solutions. For example, interpersonal therapy helps clients cope with life challenges by helping them strengthen relationships and identify sources of support. Cognitive behavioral therapy involves teaching clients skills for recognizing and then changing negative thoughts, as well as strategies for changing unhelpful behaviors. Humanistic therapies emphasize a person's capacity for growth and change. For example, in client-centered therapy, the therapist provides empathy and emotional support while the client directs the therapeutic process. In contrast to psychodynamic therapy, which is guided by the therapist, this therapy has the client lead the conversation. To reduce resistance and client defensiveness, therapists give their clients unconditional positive regard, non-judgmental acceptance and support of clients regardless of what they say or do. They demonstrate this to the client by practicing active listening, a technique in which a therapist restates a client's feelings back to them using mirroring statements such as, I hear you saying that in order to ensure that they're understanding the client's concerns. Gestalt therapy seeks to help clients improve their self-awareness and realize the ways in which their behavior influences situations. For example, a therapist might role-play a previously upsetting experience with a client and then discuss how the experience makes the client feel right now. Clients can use this to begin to understand how their reactions shape what happens to them. Compared to client-centered therapy, Gestalt therapy involves the use of more active exercises during therapy sessions. Rather than focusing solely on discussion, existential therapy is based on the premise that people can maintain their freedom, even in the most extreme circumstances, by choosing how they'll respond to their situation. It's grounded in the belief that life has no inherent or objective meaning. Rather, humans have a sacred duty to assign a meaning to life and to their own individual actions. Existential therapists use techniques from client-centered therapy such as empathy and unconditional positive regard. However, their sessions are more likely to include an emphasis on spiritual questions and facing the universal reality of death.